In this video, we're going to look at how to do a single sample t-test in Excel using the data analysis tool. In this example, um, we're looking to see if a church ministry is effective. We're going to ask, has the Sunday school grown after a vacation Bible school? Now, what's a Sunday school, you might ask? A Sunday school uh, is a kids program that's usually held on Sunday mornings at uh, churches so that the kids won't sit around being bored in church, but that they can learn about the Bible and learn uh, uh, moral values and learn the essentials about God. Now, in this case, the we know that last year the Sunday school averaged 20 people. It was a small, uh, 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 small church with 20 kids, and during the summer they had a a vacation Bible school, kind of a, a, a day camp, a series of fun activities every day for a week or two um, to attract kids to the church and give them the foundations of uh, the gospel and what the Bible teaches about God and, and Jesus. And so what we want to do is we've got a sample of four Sundays taken during the uh, early months of the new school year. And we want to see if this, with this sample of four Sundays, if we can conclude that the group has really grown. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the paired sample t-test that we, we've looked at before because the data analysis doesn't have a specific test for the single sample t-test. So what we need to do is we need to add an extra column here, and we're going to call this the population mean. And there it added automatically into the table since it was just to the right there. And what we need to do is we need to put 20 into each one. So actually, we can highlight one and then drag this handle, the blue box down there, and puts 20 in all of it. And now we go to data, data analysis, which you should have installed. And if you don't, you can read the, uh, you can watch the video on how to do it. And we are going to do a, a t-test paired to sample for means. And we select that. And our first variable is the attendance. So we select that whole column. And our second variable is going to be the population mean. It's not really a variable. It's constant. But it'll uh, uh, this uh, paired to sample for means test and data analysis will change it into a single sample t-test. Um, hypothesize mean difference is zero. We have labels up here. And for the output options, we want to put it on the same page. So we choose output range, click in the box here, and let's put it there. And oh, now something that uh, I forgot to mention is that since this is for a Sunday school, we just want a general idea if it's grown. We don't, um, we're not trying to publish a scientific paper. We don't need a real stringent alpha equals 0.05. We can be less stringent and say instead of being 95% sure, let's just be 90% sure. So we're going to choose an alpha level of 0 0.10. And our hypothesis is the Sunday school has grown. So that's a one-tailed hypothesis. The output range is E6. Uh, that looks good. I think we've set this up correctly. We press OK. And here we, let's round this off. Go to Home, the Number section, Number. So we've got two decimal points there. Let's make the columns wider so we can read them. And, okay, so our mean is 24 versus 20. And our t-stat is 1.85. And look at this. Our p, our one-tailed p, is 0.08. And our critical value was 10%. Because remember, we only hit an alpha. Whoops, that was a little typo there. Alpha equals 10%, because we only needed to be 90% uh, uh, sure. So we have... Um, uh, strong enough evidence that the Sunday school has grown because there's only an 8% chance of getting this result of 24 um, if the Sunday school had uh, uh, not grown.
Now we look at our t-stat, which we have as 1.85, and the p-value for the one-tailed test is 0.08. Let's highlight that. Now, normally we want p to be less than 0.05, but remember we chose an alpha value of 10%. So here, p is less than that 10%, so we reject the null hypothesis. and we retain the alternate hypothesis, our main hypothesis, that the Sunday School has grown. So we found good evidence that the Sunday School has grown because there's only an 8% chance that it would have gone up this much just by chance if the Sunday School hadn't really grown.